Hey friends, it's Sheree, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a fabric haul video. This video is in collaboration with LA Finch Fabric, and I cannot wait to share all the wonderful things that I picked up with you. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. I'm so excited to share this shop with you. You know that I love to promote women-owned businesses here on my YouTube channel, and I only promote businesses that I'm really enjoying, and LA Finch Fabric happens to be one of my favorite fabric shops, so I'm excited to talk about them today and all the wonderful things that I picked up. LA Finch Fabric is owned by a lovely woman named Josie. She is a first generation Mexican American woman who is building a legacy for her family that is truly something to be proud of. She has a really strong entrepreneurial spirit that is definitely inspiring to me. And I love that she has built a business around something that she loves. And if you are going to go into business for yourself, that is what you absolutely should do, is build a business upon something that you are passionate about and that you love. And what she's giving us in the sewing community is truly amazing. One of the things I love about LA Finch Fabric is that they have a wide variety of designer dead stock fabrics that you would not find elsewhere. So I picked up some really special pieces and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. I encourage you to check out this shop whenever you get the chance because I'm sure that you'll find something lovely that will make your sewing projects just perfect, okay? So the very first fabric that I picked up is actually a fun fabric. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's colorful, it is a rayon chalet and it has the best drape and I promised from my last video that I would definitely not fold my fabric before I did the video so that I could shake my fabric and show you drapes. So that is what I'm doing. Hopefully you appreciate this because it did drive me nuts to not fold up this fabric and put it away right when I got it. But anyway, this is a beautiful rayon chalet and to be honest, I saw this fabric on Mimi G and I about died because I had to have it and I could not find it anywhere, okay? I had been searching for this fabric and I couldn't find it and lo and behold, at some point, LA Finch Fabric posted a Instagram picture of this fabric in I believe three different colorways and I was like, yes, finally I found it and I ordered three yards of it and I plan to make a gorgeous button-up dress I want to make the Tilling the Buttons Lyra dress. Now, I have made two of these before in the past, but this time I'd like to make a short sleeve version, and I'll try to give you a closer up view. You can see an example of the short sleeve version right here. I just think that will be such a cute little summer dress, and I believe in the fall and the winter I'll also continue to wear it with tights and maybe at my black leather jacket but I just think it's so gorgeous and it will be such a perfect button-up dress shirt and actually Mimi G's dress was also a button-up dress but I don't have her pattern <laughs> so I'm going to use the pattern that I have which is the Lyra so anyways this was the first fabric that I picked up it's such a beautiful beautiful fabric and I just feel like I will feel like I'm wearing designer designer Cherie Thomas when I'm wearing this so I love it so much and I cannot wait to make my dress out of this beautiful drapey rayon jelly the next fabric that I picked up is actually an end of the bolt fabric. This is another rayon chalet. It does feel slightly more swishy compared to the rayon chalet that I just showed you a minute ago. This was an end of the bolt, so this was three yards. It was already cut. Um, and I think this will make such a beautiful dress. I don't know exactly which dress I'll pick. But I also have considered that maybe I might want to make a Friday Pattern Company patina blouse and a long flowy skirt to go with it so that I can wear them together for a faux dress style or I can pair them separately with other pieces. But I just think it's such a great, great fabric. You know that I love yellow and it has these really great light yellow flowers on a mustard yellow background and I'm just going to love wearing this fabric whatever it may be um, and I just 
cannot believe that I got it for such a great deal. That's the one thing about LA Finch fabrics is that you will find that perfect designer dead stock fabric and it will be at an affordable rate. I don't know if you're like me, but I have gone to fabric stores before in the past or online in person and saw like a really gorgeous designer dead stock fabric. And when I saw the price per yard, I was devastated. <laughs> I never have that feeling with LA Finch fabrics. They always have the most beautiful fabrics at an affordable price. And again, this was three yards. It was the end of the bolt. And just listen to the swish on this guy. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice to wear this spring and summer. The next fabric that I picked up is a gauze fabric and <laughs> I had such a clear vision for what I wanted to make with this gorgeous fabric. I was going to be making a two-piece set. I wanted to do a crop top and a pair of lounge wide leg pants. It was going to be perfect, but my friend Sarah of Naughty Gnome here on YouTube made almost the exact outfit that I envisioned in my mind, okay? <laughs> and because I like to give you guys a little variety, and I'm sure that if you're subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to her, and if you're not, you should be because she's very talented and she has a lot to offer us here on YouTube. But anyway, I like to give you guys a little bit of options and different styling ideas for different fabrics and colors. So I did find a different pattern that I think I might actually really love in this beautiful, beautiful drapey gauze fabric. And I wanna show you um, just how opaque it is. This is how the thickness is of the fabric and you can maybe see my hand on the back. You can't see the color of my hand, but you can see that it's moving. And um, it's just such a great fabric and I don't think it's, I'm going to have any issues with like showing my underwear or anything like that when wearing an outfit made from this fabric. So I really love that about this. Um, let me show you the pattern that I'm thinking of. I'm definitely interested in making this jumpsuit here. Okay, and the number for this one is Simplicity S9480. I love this jumpsuit. I think it's going to be so perfect for spring and summer. And the back comes up high enough to where I'll still be able to wear my strapless bra with all of its thickness. <laughs> and I think I'm going to really love wearing a jumpsuit made from this beautiful fabric. It's just so soft and swishy and you can see the design of the gauze. It's just so pretty, so, so pretty and it's bright and I'll be seen and I'll be feeling so fabulous and so fashionable in this fabric. I really love this fabric so much and I got three yards of it. The next fabric that I got is actually this beautiful railroad style denim. It's striped and it's very heavy and substantial. I want to say that I got three yards of this as well and I think it's fantastic. I definitely want to make the Ginny overalls out of this fabric. I think it's going to be such a wonderful pairing. So if you are someone who has been looking for some really nice denim, here on my channel you have seen that I have purchased, let's see, I've shared my yellow denim that I've purchased from there, my red denim that I've purchased from there, my indigo denim that I've purchased from there that was actually a stretch denim. And I actually have another piece of stretch denim that I have not shared yet because I plan to make jeans with it. And now this pair, I can tell you, 100% you will be pleased with whatever denim that you choose from LA Finch Fabric because they have such great quality denim. And I have purchased denim from Joann's and other places as well, fabric.com, um, Nick of Time Fabrics. I've purchased lots of denim and I want to say that my favorite pieces so far have come from LA Finch Fabric. This particular denim has a slight stretch, but it's going to be more suitable for those projects that don't need a lot of stretch in them or don't require stretch at all, okay? So I'm absolutely excited to make these Ginny overalls out of this wonderful fabric. I think it's going to be the best pairing, okay? The next fabric that I have are actually fabrics that were gifted to me by LA Finch Fabrics so that I could try them out and review them here on my channel. And they're gorgeous, okay? So as I mentioned, with designer dead stock fabrics, it's hard to come by, and then it's also hard to find at an, a reasonable rate, and also really quality, beautiful pieces, right? So this one right here is actually from Show Me Your Moo Moo, 
and it is this gorgeous striped twill. It is a stretch twill. So I'll show you a little bit of the stretch. So it's more stretchy in this direction than it is in this direction. Really soft, really gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is going to make such a great pair of pants. I was even thinking maybe a button front pencil skirt. Oh my gosh, that could be so cute. Um, but it has got some really good stretch on it. So if I wanted to make some tight fitted jeans, I think I can make that out of this fabric. And it would just be so gorgeous. Have you guys ever made striped jeans before? Is that doing too much? Is that too Beetlejuice? Or will it be fantastic? Because in my mind, it sounds like it's going to be fantastic. But you let me know what you think. But I think that these have such a great amount of stretch that they might go really well as jeans. And I recently purchased and shared the Megan Nielsen Ash Jeans pattern with you. And I think I might actually want to try to make a pair of jeans out of this great stretch twill fabric from Show Me Your Moo Moo. But I really love that. Look at that. Yes, yes, comfort, cuteness, I can see it. It's, it's already in my mind, I can see it. So anyway, they sent me this beautiful, beautiful stretch twill and I think it's going to make an amazing garment. The next thing that they sent me is a rayon chalet and it's so pretty. It's got this blush pinkish background. Some of the hearts are a cream color, some of them are red. I just think this is gorgeous. The flow on this rayon chalet is just really nice and soft. I think it's going to be such a beautiful dress and I have one in mind that I think I might go perfectly. Um, it's a pattern that I picked up a while back and just haven't had an opportunity to sew it yet. It's this one here. It's Simplicity S9326. And I just think that that will be so beautiful together, especially because it's flirty and flowy. And it will do so well to do this ruffle around the neckline. Oh my gosh, I think that will be so cute. And to wear this to like a spring brunch, a <laughs> summer brunch or something like that. If you go to church, this could be a really cute dress for church. But I love the way it drapes. I love how soft the fabric is. So pretty. Look at that. So gorgeous. You can make a gorgeous blouse out of this. Like I like I mentioned before, I'm going to make a patina blouse out of that yellow fabric. I could absolutely see myself making one out of this fabric as well. So pretty. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> So those were the garment ideas that I had for the fabrics that I received so far. The last fabric that was sent to me is actually a remnant piece and this is a canvas fabric and this is what it looks like. I know you must be wondering, what are you gonna do with this camel print fabric? <laughs> this gorgeous camel print canvas fabric is going to be used to make a fanny pack. I saw that recently Seamwork released the Ray belt bag and bucket hat and I think that this is the perfect, perfect project for this piece of fabric. I think it's going to be so nice and I have lots of different options for lining fabric in my stash. So I'm really excited to be able to make a fanny pack and with whatever's left. I can use towards making a bucket hat and I can just pair it with some of my denims that I have in my stash. I think that would be really cute. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with this really awesome canvas fabric. There's no stretch to it, it's nice and sturdy, so it's perfect for a bag or a hat. And I think it's gonna be great. What do you guys think? Would you wear a fanny pack out of this fabric? <laughs> Would you wear a bucket hat out of this fabric? You let me know. Another option is I could make a tote bag, which I make them quite often, so that would be a nice, easy, quick sew, and it's such a durable fabric to where I know it will work really well for that type of project. Well, those are all the things that I picked up. Please let me know in the comment section below which items were your favorite and what you would make from one of these lovely fabrics. And the next time you're ready to go and purchase some beautiful designer dead stock fabric, I encourage you to please check out LA Finch Fabrics. You can use the link in the information section of this video to shop their website. It is not an affiliate link. I'm sharing this business truly because I love it and I will continue to spend my money there because every time I go on that website, 
I find something truly unique and beautiful that I can't wait to wear. So please do me a favor and check out this amazing business and also follow them on Instagram because they often post new arrivals and so you can check out what's new and happening in their shop. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and please do give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day. Bye.